I have a giveaway going on at the moment for Anthem the Game to celebrate reaching 3000 subs. To be in with a chance to win, simply click on the link in the description below for ways to enter. Good luck, and now on with the usual broadcast. So guys, we have news overload. We have a lot to get through with the new trailer, legendary contract gameplay, new strongholds, contracts, factions, blueprints, cataclysms, and yes, news finally on Shape of Storms. If you find this news awesome and your hype just amplified to exponential levels, leave a like, subscribe, and please share. It seems YouTube is having problems and notifications are not going out. Found by YouTube to me today. So if you could share, retweet this video, I would be eternally grateful to you all. Let's crack on. So before I do anything else in case you missed it, here is the second trailer video in full. Let's watch it and then we can start dissecting it. It is epic. Welcome to part two of the Anthem gameplay series. In this episode, we are going to look at the expanding world of Anthem and its end game content. We're a long way from the Cenotaph and the storm is worse than we thought. This is it, close as we get with the Striders. Agreed, looks like we fly from here. When you start Anthem, you are a freshly recruited freelancer that joins a failed mission to shut down a cataclysm called the Heart of Rage. It beat us, Alec. We need to regroup. It is up to you to redeem the freelancers and ultimately find a way to succeed in silencing it. This story is your introduction into the world, but the game doesn't end with its conclusion. The most dedicated freelancers will push themselves against tougher and tougher challenges, taking on more daring and deadly quests. In order to do this, you will have to improve not only yourself, but your arsenal of javelins. This is where your path to glory begins. As you continue to level up and become a more powerful pilot, new content and challenges will become available to you. With six modes of difficulty, including three which are unlocked in Endgame, Anthem will have a challenge for all levels of players, from easy to Grandmaster 3. The higher the difficulty, the better the chances you will have in finding the rarest gear and personalization items in the game. When you want to make a statement, Maybe polish that javelin up with a nice coat of pain and thunder. What's the use of being the best pilot in Bastion if your style doesn't match your power? From greeting friends in our social hub, the launch bay, to how you arrive on missions or celebrate your victories, we give you lots of opportunity to show off your javelin style. Each suit has many ways to get it looking just the way you want. From unique armor pieces, customizing color and textures, to collecting vinyls and emotes. Your suit will soon become a reflection of yourself, making your wins all the more glorious. Once you reach the pilot level of 30, you will continue to improve your javelins by finding or crafting the rarest gear. That's where our end game content really begins for you. At this point, you have likely finished the core story mission and your focus will begin to shift to new objectives. These are challenges, contracts, free play, and strongholds. Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. People you meet in Fort Tarsus will sometimes need your help and offer you contracts. These are unpredictable missions in which you deal with various problems in the world. By increasing your reputation with different groups, you'll gain access to crafting blueprints. Doing daily, weekly, and monthly challenges will provide you crafting material and coin. This is a great way to make not only new gear, but further personalize your javelins. On occasion, people will offer you legendary contracts. Hello, hello, hello. These missions have multiple parts to them and are far more difficult to complete. In this case, Matthias Sumner, an arcanist, hires you to not only provide valuable field research, but also stop a Dominion plot to wake a Titan. Strongholds represent some of the highest level challenges in the game and will require a team to take them on. These typically are longer challenges that will test all that you have learned as a freelancer. 
whether or not your javelins can withstand the deadliest enemies in the world. Plan well, communicate with your team, and you will benefit from some of the most rewarding loot Anthem has to offer. Anthem is a living, changing world with threats arising from mysterious and dangerous places all the time. New missions, characters, and stories will be introduced in the weeks and months to come. This could either be a single scout or the beginning of something much, much bigger. Some of these changes will be small. Others will enrich the social experience with guilds and social hubs, while others will be massive and world-changing events. Everything you will have done in the game is preparing you for what is about to come. Our most ambitious and challenging content will come to Anthem in the form of cataclysms. Time-limited world events that cause physical manifestations to occur. Extreme weather, incursions of dangerous hostile enemies, and new mysteries to solve. The story of Anthem has just begun. What might have seemed impossible when you were a fresh recruit will challenge you to new heights as you build your arsenal of javelins and unleash your power. Strong alone, stronger together, right? Ha! Ah, who told you that? It seems during the recording of this video a roadmap was released, I'll be covering that at the end of the video. So it seems we finally get official confirmation at the existence of cataclysms. We see it here, and here. And these will be varied in scale, providing a different experience each time. Jonathan Warner chimed in to say Shaper Storms have been encompassed by Cataclysms, a larger and more dynamic concept. So from this, we can derive that Shaper Storms are the end products, most likely at the maximum strength of a Cataclysm, which also confirms and goes hand in hand with what Mike was saying earlier regarding the different states of the Cataclysm and that not everyone will be the same. I'm super excited to see what these will be or encompass. Will it just change the environment or be a portal of vortex type thing that will open to send us into another plane or realm of existence? Maybe my imagination is going a bit too far ahead, but damn does this news get me excited. We finally know that the final stronghold will be called Heart of the Rage based on this image and the trailer, and we get a small glimpse into the stronghold as they zip around the highest platform. Not much else was shown regarding strongholds, however I'm looking forward to tackling the other two, especially after replaying the first one to death and still not bored of it. Difficulties have changed, yes they have, and we can see this here as they go down the list. Easy wasn't shown, but at the same time, it's gonna have the lowest chance, right? So if that's the base model, the rest will just follow on based on the model that Easy is the lowest. So here are the known stats. Easy, as I mentioned, wasn't shown in the video. Normal, damage and health has an increase of 0% with a max rarity of 50%. Hard has a damage and health increase of 52% with a max rarity of 100%. Grandmaster 1 has a damage health increase of 165% with a masterwork chance at 150%. Grandmaster 2, damage and health has increased by 430%, with masterwork chance at 200%. And finally, Grandmaster 3, damage health 950% increase, with a masterwork chance of 250%. Now we know Grandmaster 3 previously was 3100%, so it's a drastic decrease, and this is most likely due to the fact that Grandmaster 4, 5 and 6 was already confirmed to be a thing by Ben Irving later in the life of Anthem. That and well maybe 3100 would have been a bit too spongy, maybe this change came alight after feedback from the demo. Either way, I'm all for no sponges as I'm sure you all are. The trailer also makes promises of new characters, new missions and social improvements along with guilds and more to come as Anthem continues to evolve with time in the coming weeks and months of launch. Now I appreciate weeks could still mean more than a month, but if that was the case, one would assume they would refrain from giving a specific time frame, and as we know from the roadmap, this is pretty much on par with what I was going to say anyway, so the roadmap will reveal that we are getting all of this within the next month or so. We get to see legendary contracts and some gameplay against some ferocious creatures as the javelin fought perilously with the ultimate challenge being a titan at the end. I didn't meet one in the open demo so I'm especially looking forward to these encounters. 
We have our challenges rewarding legendary or masterwork embers for crafting, contracts regarding blue gear and embers, as well as blueprints including a glimpse at the factions, so there will be no shortage of things to do come the release of Anthem. We finally got to see a number of masterwork weapons which had some interesting perks, and also a masterwork weapon with no intrinsic perk, showcasing the two variants. All in all, this trader was smoking hot and delivered in so many ways, but we ain't finished yet, cause now we talk about the roadmap that's been laid before us, so let's go through it. On the 22nd of February is the launch of the game and already in March we have our first update, Echoes of Reality. This will have three updates which will likely be released at separate times, seeing as they are titled Updates 1, 2 and 3. Update 1 is Evolving Worlds, Update 2, Stronger Together, and finally Update 3, Cataclysm. It's cool that we'll be getting our first Cataclysm, but the real question is, will it be strong enough to create a Shaper Storm? That I'm afraid no one but the devs can answer, and good luck getting a response on them for this. It is pretty insane that we are getting an update that close after launch, and yes it will be free. We also see Act 2 and 3. No dates are applied as well as no information given to these, and though some are assuming it's a roadmap for the next 3 months, which wouldn't be a bad educated assumption, I personally do not believe it will be monthly. I'd love it to be because I love content, but the reality of the matter is, it does sound unsustainable. I would rather we get quality updates instead of rush content. I mean, look at Black Armory and you'll get what I mean. As well as these, they are promising the following, new events, quality of life updates such as waypoints for example, new rewards, expanded progression system, the pilots will be getting a progression system to unlock as you go along, you're gonna get a new stronghold, guilds and leaderboards, new missions and obviously the already mentioned cataclysm. Sadly there is no mention of any aspirational raid content here or the use of the term raid. It looks like during the act 1 of the update we won't be seeing a raid. Maybe in act 2, maybe in act 3, who knows, but as of right now based on this roadmap raids will not be a thing as of act 1. I don't know about you, but this roadmap speaks wonders for what is happening right now at Bioware and their continued promise to keep all content free to all that have purchased the base game. So let me know what you all think. Amazing trailer, last minute roadmap, I mean can it get any more crazy? Chime in your thoughts below and let's hear it. If you enjoyed this, a like rating would be awesome, subscribe for more and from content and please share. Until the next video, remain legend. Alone, stronger together, right? Ha, who told you that?